Okay, so engineering studies, we're essentially talking developments. I can actually draw it this way, then I can just invert the video. Developments, they're nets when you talk mathematics in year seven and eight. They say draw a net of a cube, draw a net of a sphere. In engineering, it's exactly the same thing, but in sheet metal work, they're called a development because you're talking sheet metal work. You draw things in engineering so you can cut them out and make them. The syllabus specifically says a transition piece. I'll actually put it here on this one. Transition piece. And it's only square square to square transition pieces, which means if I've got a rectangular duct, that might be, let's turn that page over. If I've got a rectangular duct that might be, I don't know, 600 by 400 millimeters. And out of that, I need to cut it down to, I'll just put that line across there, something that's 300 by 300 millimetres, you've got to make up a rectangular pyramid where the bases are different, but when you unfold, when you unfold it up like sheet metal, it goes from being if that makes sense. So that's a square duct or rectangular duct to a square duct. Transition pieces only have four sides. They have no top, they have no bottom. They're just basically four sides of a duct as a transition piece. Make sense? Yeah? yeah. Okay. How do you actually draw them? Let's say we're looking here. That's 400. I'm drawing in plan view to 300. I'm drawing this duct here like so, 400 to 300. I don't know, let's pick a distance, 1000. That's in top view or plan view. Top view is correct. And if I look at it in front view, which used to be called elevation, I see this, 600, 600, going down to 300. Does that make sense? Front view, top view. 600, going to 300, front view. 400, going to 300, side view. And I've got that back corner here, running along the same line. Got it, got it. Yeah. So how do you draw them? It's a skill in itself. Obviously, if I measure the distance from there to there, look at it in three dimensions the distance from there to there, if I'm drawing out. That distance is not the true length of that line here. Yeah? Because if I'm looking at it front view, it's longer. Clearly the distance from point A to point B is clearly not, that's point A. Looking at it in front view, that's point B. Looking at it in top view, yeah? Make sense? There's point A again, looking at it in front view. There's point B, oh sorry, there's point A, looking at it in top view. There's point B, looking at it in top view. That's obviously not there. But if I look at this drawing, I'll just sketch it up quickly in 3D. I do know that that red triangle I've drawn in there is true length, yeah? 
I do know that that is the true length of the base. Oh, what am I going to call this? X. That is the true length of X, isn't it? Forget about the height. Yeah? That is Y. That is the true length of Y. Yeah? So if you just draw out a rectangle where you measure Y and you measure X, then you can get the true length of Z. So you just get that true length there. How do they do that? They physically draw a rectangle or draw a circle. That's a circle, not a rectangle. You can tell I'm rushing. They drop that down. Dot, 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 dot. They say that's the true length of X. They pitch it down and they go, there's Y, and then they just measure it. Bang. I'll put this up online, but there's an explanation. Essentially, all you're doing is you're just drawing Y, X, Z. There's Z. Make sense? You've got Y, measure it. You've got X, measure it, then you just draw out the rectangle, uh, the triangle. Sweet. Sweat ass?